Good morning. Uh, welcome to a new week here in your Oralcom online class. Uh, this week is a big one. Uh, there's only two assignments because I want you to spend your time on these things. I am working on grading the informative speech so you have some um, feedback before you give this next speech. Also, I've been working through your first phase of the assignment so you had feedback on those as well. In the files section of Canvas, you'll find a grading rubric for speech number two. This is what I'll follow. Um, you will see the rubric and what I gave you in each area. It's now time for the whole process to kind of coalesce together where how you get into the speech, how you deliver the speech, the way you carry yourself, the points you make, the resources, which again are not sources, they're things that bring light and color to your topic. Uh, and how you close the speech, all matter. Needs to be between three and five minutes, three minutes minimum, five minutes maximum. And this is a persuasive speech. I asked you at the beginning of last week uh, what your call to action is. Um, young man named Justin a few semesters ago whose call to action for his persuasive speech was to get me to work out with him. You can see by my rather round shape that that Call to action didn't come to fruition. What, what are you asking for specifically? In a persuasive speech, we want to make it clear what we're trying to convince you to do. Uh, we're not just informing, we're persuading. So this objective sentence is every blank should blank in order to probably gain, not necessarily, it doesn't have to be, but probably what, do you, what are you going to get? What are you going to realize? What will you receive from doing that? So that's this week. Your score sheet um, is due. It needs to have every blank filled because you'll notice on your grading rubric, there is space for the score sheet. Was it done correctly? Uh, is your evaluate on there? Again, your evaluate, uh, so many of you use your mother. Um, I'm sure that's a tried and true method. That's not necessarily what I'm looking for. I'm looking for one of two people, either someone who has relevant knowledge about this topic uh, or someone who doesn't. A lot of times in the nerd kingdoms um, or in uh, topics near and dear to your heart, the Harry Potter kingdom or even something mental health, something you deal with, um, it's very, very easy to dive too deep. So sometimes it's helpful to have someone who doesn't really know anything about the topic, <clears throat> excuse me, to look over and go over that speech with you because so many times in, in speeches of particular areas that have a particular language to it, we dive too deep and um, nobody can get on the bus with us because they already don't know what we're talking about. So that's what the evaluate is. So your mama might be relevant, but I'm gonna guess probably not. I'm gonna guess that's your standard tried and true uh, person. Um, in this case, I'm looking more for someone who has some relevant knowledge on your particular topic. Maybe that's your mama, um, but probably not. So uh, think about that before you turn the score sheets back in. Good luck this week. There's just the two uh, assignments. The score sheet, um, if I see anything, I'll try and comment on that between there and Sunday. And your persuasive speech is due next Sunday. Um, we've been through the process now several times, so um, I'm going to hit harder on the excuse that comes to me. I meant to do this. Okay, so take care of business this week, only two assignments. Have a good one.